There are many things to do in Florida, like seeing the alligators that live here, but some say the population is declining. They're a critical part of the ecosystem out here. I'm Kenzie Krieger in Panacea, and I'm looking at the alligator population here and seeing what's being done to protect them. I think they're overkilling the alligators. Jack Rudlow is an environmental activist and owns Gulf Specimen Marine Lab here in Panacea. He says he hasn't seen as many alligators like he used to years ago. But up here in uh, Franklin, Wakala, Leon County, Taylor County, I think there's an overharvest that's taking place. The numbers look low. I question those numbers. I asked Florida Fish and Wildlife about this. They told me their alligator management program monitors alligator populations on a statewide scale. It does not generate alligator population estimates at county level. When I brought up Rudlow's concern, they said, Alligator conservation is a big success story in Florida. The state's alligator population, which was included in the original federal endangered species list, is now estimated at 1.3 million and has been stable for many years. But Rudlow still questions it. Because I do not see alligators like I used to see growing up here. I also reached out to St. Mark's Wildlife and Refuge about this. They told me they haven't done surveys on alligator population, but say the numbers in the refuge seem to be holding steady. Although Rudlow says the numbers appear to be consistent to previous years, he notices fewer alligators. So it looks like there's 52 alligators taken out of, out of Wakala. I think it's way more than that simply because I just don't see them. The 52 he mentioned is how many harvested alligators were reported by FWC in Wakulla County in 2022. The exact population of alligators in Wakulla County is uncertain at this time. Rudlow says he'll keep working to protect the alligator population. In Panacea, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Kenzie Krieger with ABC 27.